Hello everyone. In the previous tutorial, I have explained what is this keyword with example. In this tutorial, I will explain what problems developer had to face without this keyword and uses of this keyword. So there are six uses of this keyword. This can be used to refer current class instance variable. This can be used to invoke current class method. This can be used to invoke current class constructor. This can be passed as an argument in the method call. This can be passed as an argument in the constructor call. This can be used to return the current class instance from the method. So there are six uses of this keyword. So in this tutorial, I'm going to explain how this can be used to refer current class instance variable. But before that, I will explain what problems developer had to face without this keyword. Okay, so let's get started. For that, let's create one class here and it's suppose employee. Okay. Having some fields that is instance variables and such as employee ID, employee name and employee age. Okay. So these are the instance variables, right? And in Java, it's compulsory to give values to the instance variables. It means in Java, we must initialize instance variables. And if we forgot to initialize instance variables in a program, then Java compiler will automatically initialize instance variables by assigning default values and default values such as null or zero. So let's check it out. So here I have just declared instance variables. I didn't assign value to it. That is, I didn't initialize it, right? And now let's access these instance variables and instance variables are belong to an object because in Java, meaning of instance itself is object, right? And hence to access instance variables, we will need to create an object, right? So let's create an object of employee class inside main method. And here let's create an object of employee class. Okay. So new employee. And now access it using employee class object. And write here emp dot employee id. Similarly, write for employee name and employee age. Okay. Now let's run the code. You can see here we have got default values as an output because I didn't initialize instance variables and hence Java compiler initialize it providing default values. So basically if we don't initialize instance variables then Java compiler initialize instance variables by providing default values. But these default values are useless values. We cannot use these values in the program. And hence we will need to give valid values. That is we will need to give our own values to the instance variables. So that we can use that values in a program. And in Java we can give our own values to the instance variable by using constructor. It means in Java we can initialize an object. That is in Java we can initialize an instance variables by using constructor. And if you don't know about constructor, then don't worry. I have made a simplified video on Java constructor. You can go through it and link I will provide in the description of this video. Okay. So let's give our own values to the instance variables. So for that, let's create here constructor employee and pass here employee ID, employee name and then int employee age okay and right here employee id equals to employee id okay employee name equals to employee name okay and here employee age equals to employee age and pass here our own values okay so here employee id suppose 201 employee name suppose xyz okay and employee age suppose 28 now let's run the code let's see now see here still we are getting default values as an output even if we provide our own values so what is the problem let's understand so first let's understand what is the problem and then we will see the solution on it okay now see here when this statement get executed then employee object will create and this constructor get call okay 
and this constructor will invoke and these values will set to these parameters but problem is that compiler couldn't understand which one are instance variables and which one are local variables because i have given same name to the instance variables and to the parameters that is to the local variables and hence compiler get confused and couldn't set values to the instance variable when this constructor get call okay so basically here ambiguity problem is create and ambiguity means confusion and due to this ambiguity problem we are getting default values as an output and we can resolve this type of ambiguity problem by two ways first way we can change the name of instance variables or name of local variables but imagine you are working on real time big application then in that case you cannot easily change the name of variables because it's already being used in a program so it's a bit difficult right and second way is simply use this keyword so how we can resolve this ambiguity problem using this keyword let's understand so just use here this keyword followed by dot operator so this dot employee id similarly write for employee name this dot employee name and then this dot employee age and now compiler understand the variables on the left hand side are instance variable whereas the variables on right hand side are local variables because as we discussed in a previous tutorial this is a reference variable which refer to the current class object right and each object has its own state and behavior and states are nothing but the instance variables and behaviors are nothing but the methods so basically each object has its own variables called as instance variables and methods so the job of this is to refer current object right and each object has its own instance variables and methods so if we think this indirectly refer to the instance variables and methods of current object and hence compiler easily understand that these are the instance variable which are with this keyword clear now let's run the code and let's see what will be the output okay you can see here we got an expected output okay so employee id 201 employee name xyz and employee age 28 so in this way we can resolve ambiguity problem which is created because of name conflict between instance variables and parameters that is local variables using this keyword so basically here this keyword can be used to refer current class instance variables and this is the main use of this keyword so always keep in mind common use of this keyword is referring to the instance variable when instance variables and local variables has the same name clear so in this way we can use this keyword to refer current class instance variables that's all in the next tutorial i will explain how this keyword can be used to invoke current class method and how this keyword can be used to invoke current class constructor for now i am going to end this session so keep learning keep growing and thank you so much for watching